Welcome back, my dear libels, to another Jujutsu Kaisen live reaction. If you're new here to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. So let's get right into it with chapter 216 of Jujutsu Kaisen titled Bath. So we have the cover, which is Sukuna slowly, not in a bath, but in, in the water because we see air bubbles and stuff. So like falling in the water. And this cover could also signify... Um, Megumi in a uh, sunken place in his mind, like trapped in his mind as Sukuna has taken over, which is really cool. But like we saw before in previous chapters, Megumi is still making it that his curse output, like his energy and stuff, is lowered when Sukuna fights somebody that Megumi considers an ally, which is really good writing by Gege. So, which is good because. That makes the fans believe that Megumi is not completely gone and Megumi could still come back. However, we still haven't seen Nobara in a very long time. Now Megumi is in this state where there's no longer Megumi, it's just Sukuna right now. So, you know, the fans are kind of scared. All right, let's see. Oh, and Kenjaku still being a fanboy. A lot of people were like, uh, Kenjaku fanboying for over a thousand years and all this stuff over Sukuna. Which, Kenjaku, if you think about it, is like the biggest Sukuna fanboy to ever exist. You know how there's uh, Gojo fanboys and fangirls? Yeah, Kenjaku is number one when it comes to Sukuna. To finish the culling game, yes, I can't merge, I can't merge Tengen with humanity, even though I was acting cocky around Chozo, until I end the culling game. Okay, so the culling game has to end to merge Tengen with humanity. Which is very interesting, right? If I remember correctly, and if not, correct me in the comments. So he wants to merge all the people, citizens of Japan with Tengen. Unless, he says humanity, so I, I don't know. I, I think it's all of the citizens of Japan. Or all the people in Japan, right? And we have this gigantic curse that looks like it's dead. Or maybe this is the merger already happening and this is just some grotesque. Thing, right but you are the one who designed the game to continue in order to establish such an insane game i took a binding vow to end what was permanent to end what was permanent hmm what does that mean so binding vow i think binding vows when i remember uh basically it's like a contract <coughs> and you gotta uphold the contract let me get some water real quick then go do it. What are you doing here? You don't want to hear how? Too bad. I'm interested in the bath. All right, so this is interesting. So we have here the binding vow to end what was permanent, which we don't know what that is. The binding vow. To... And then we have him, Kinjaku, saying he's interested in the bath. And that's highlighted as well. All right, so this is... Very interesting stuff. The bath is a ritual for turning a vessel that is cherished as a family treasure into a cursed tool to protect it from external threats. It means 10 months and 10 days of soaking the vessel in a solution with cursed energy obtained by crushing a choice selection of venomous creatures. Sounds nasty. All right, this is actually very interesting. So it's it's like when you put, uh, by the way, I never did this. I've seen this like in manga, right? uh, in the anime I'm watching right now, which I'm not gonna talk say the name because uh, I'm gonna make a video about that in the future. But it's like putting like poisonous things in a jar, locking it, the jar, and see what survives. But this, the bath is different where it's like, you you get a vessel, I don't know if it has to be alive or dead, but you get the vessel, like it says, that is cherished as a family treasure. Wait, wait, a vessel. Into a, as a family treasure, into a cursed tool to protect it from external threats. So the vessel has to be human, I believe, or has to be alive, or alive or dead. Let, let's, let's say it's dead. Or let, let's imagine... Imagine the vessel is alive in this thing, in the bath. It means 10 months 
Yeah, yeah, I don't think alive we're gonna survive 10 months. 10 months and 10 days of soaking the vessel in a solution with cursed energy obtained by crushing a choice selection of venomous creatures. Oh, crushing. So the venomous creatures are dead. They just crushed in, but they're still venomous. So the vessel, I think, has to be dead. Sounds nasty. This is... Gage Akutami is doing it again, making the story even more interesting. Gage, uh, I believe in an interview, said they wanted to see if they could end the series this year. It's just so much stuff that... I don't know if the, he could end it this year, but we'll see. You are doing... And me personally, I don't want the series to end like this year. I, I, can we get like two, three more years, please? You are doing that to curse spirits. Oh, to curse spirits. Okay. So the curse spirits. Oh no, no, no. The curse spirits are the. Because I was thinking when they were talking about the venomous creatures. The curse spirits, venomous curse spirits. Okay. You are doing that to curse spirits, and we see like this thing of the bath with blood draining and stuff from it. When killed, a cursed spirit turns to dust. The same is generally true for their severed body parts. Okay. So I carefully run each one and then use my cursed technique to freeze core parts, such as the head, to sever it. Okay, so the cursed spirits are dead, but with the cursed technique of this person, I diced and filtered the rest. Okay, so when the Cursed Spirit gets defeated, they just disappear. But, like, these Cursed Spirit's body parts are in a state that they're just, like, frozen. They are in places. And they use my curse technique to freeze core parts, such as the head, to sever it. Okay. What's the point of soaking in it? To be near evil. And to submerge Megumi Fujigoro's soul. Oh, no 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 so that is that is the, what the cover is sukuna so soaking in the bath to submerge the soul of megumi fujigoro because megumi's soul let's say it's light is shiro is 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 white right and through this submersion because these are venomous cursed spirits and stuff like that evil cursed spirits like it, it's interesting i, I keep going back to this because it's like, it's literally a bath of evil, cur venomous, cursed spirits that are evil. And the cursed spirits were alive at one point too, so let me keep reading. This is actually a really, really great chapter. And to submerge Megumi Fujigoro's soul. Okay. And then Sukuna just gets up from the bath. We got this giant panel. Okay. You, you are keeping that visage for now. This is better for fighting sorcerers. Okay, for now. For now. So he's going to keep Megumi's body uh, for now, right? That's what visage means. A person's face with reference to the form. Yeah, yeah. So, so Megumi's body. This is better for fighting sorcerers. But this means Sukuna probably has an idea of a better body that will suit him for other reasons besides fighting sorcerers. Oh man, this chapter is so good. And that, that giant panel, big panel with uh, Sukuna uh, emerging from the bath and the bath is all blood and stuff and st from the all those venomous uh, creatures and stuff. Kogane, where's Sumiki Fujiguro? Okay, current colony Sendai. Players are no longer confined in their colonies, and she issued an invitation to fight. But why in Sendai? How exasperating. Yorusu is from Aizu. If I was from Japan, like I probably would know like all, all these areas and stuff um, on the map. After countless years, she wants to visit her home, and Sendai is in the neighborhood. Okay, so Yorusu is from Aizu, which Aizu is close to uh, Sendai is close to where uh, Yorusu uh, came from, which is Aizu. You are truly exasperating enough, like you can talk. Oh, it's interesting the dynamic between Sukuna and, and um, Kenjaku. It's just like chill. Are you really leaving to fight her? Do you find that strange? I, I thought you ignore her. It's always been one sided between you. Yorusu doesn't matter, but the vessel does. Uh, understood. 
the vessel matters, which is Megumi's sister's vessel. So does this mean that Sukuna finds Megumi's sister's vessel better suited for himself, but not right away? Maybe he'll be Yoruzu, uh, find a way to get Yoruzu out of the vessel and just keep the vessel for later on because Sukuna right now is like, Megumi's vessel is better for fighting sorcerers. So he's going to he's gonna stay in this vessel for now. So it's going to be a thing that Sukuna is probably just going to keep going through vessels so he finds the perfect one. And Megumi's sister might be the perfect one or one of the best ones when it comes to a great vessel for Sukuna because he says the vessel does. Yoruzu, he, he, he doesn't care about Yoruzu at all. And we get more backstory where it's like, it's always been one-sided between you. Okay, so Kenjaku says, Ah, understood. The destruction of Sumiki Fujiguro will allow me to completely bury Megumi Fujiguro. Oh, no. That's why he wants the vessel. It's to shatter Megumi's consciousness to the point where it's, boom, completely gone. And then he just has 100% full control of Megumi's body. No random low uh, curse energy outputs happening anymore because Megumi will be broken because he will see his sister done and that will shatter Megumi's mind, his consciousness completely. And then that will allow uh, Sukuna to take over because Megumi will lose hope and that's it. And without hope, that's it. Mind completely taken. The destruction of Sumiki Fujigoro will allow me to completely bury Megumi Fujigoro. Uh, one of the Light Bulb Army members, I believe it was Nabunor, said uh, a, a long time ago when a sorcerer takes another, like a vessel, it probably takes them a while to get used to that body. But the majority of the time that we have seen that happen, like Kenjaku taking, um, sometimes I forget, I forget some names, taking over that vessel and Nasukuna taking Megumi's vessel like we see how stronger they are in the vessels themselves I'll give you a ride so give me your points please all right so we see two of the sorcerers from the past again no 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 this is way too sweet he has come oh snap they 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 nervous they sweating the king of curses oh stop Oh, let's go. He's just walking. He's like, all right. He 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 he's flying in the flying fish, which is a hilarious uh, flying uh, fish curse spirit, which is hilarious means of transportation. But we just see Megumi. I said Megumi. Sukuna looking cool in Megumi's body. I'm not gonna lie. And then he stands right in front of the guy with the pompadour. You're gonna step aside or not? That's what he tells him. And the guy in the pop door is looking down at him, sweating, like, oh, heck no. Like, this is the king of curses. This is not your reg no, no push pushover or anything. Do you want for an attack? He went for an attack. He went for an attack and got sliced. A little bit, though. Huh, what's the deal? I wanted to slice you in three. You are not so bad. Okay, so he stepped back. Before he fully got sliced. Okay. Sorry for underestimating you. Next time I'll fight for real. Granite. Oh, he sliced one. He sliced this dude's face in two. Oh, dear. Wait, 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 wait. Before he died. You got sliced. Oh dear. Switched skins, huh? Yeah, this mug's more handsome. Okay. He's dead, though. No, he is dead. He's dead. He's dead. This mug's more handsome. It's funny how Sukuna say that. Maybe we spot he's more handsome. That's hilarious. Holy crap. Pompadour, dude. There's no way he's alive after that slice. Hey, no way, coach. So he's dead. We're going to get the battle of Sukuna versus, I always forget, Yao, Yoruzu, 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 okay. Sukuna versus Yoruzu, brother versus, well, Megumi's body versus, 
uh, Megumi sister. Like it. This is some great writing. This is some great writing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking as as I make the thumbnail. I don't want to end the video now. I really like this chapter. Like it, it's so much stuff that happened in this chapter. So much revelations of different things. And now we're gonna get the fight. The King of Curses versus I believe Yoruzu is the Queen of Curses. But Kenjaku says it's always been one-sided. But when Kenjaku states that, I think primarily i think he's talking about yoruzu is the one that probably is always challenging sukuna and losing um now it has never been stated that sukuna is undefeated when it comes to battle it's just like oh sukuna is the king of curses and that's about it but it's not like oh sukuna is undefeated no sorcerer has ever beaten him or no other curse well we could assume no other curse has beaten him because well no we can't assume he just says he's the king of curses that could just mean oh he he just beat every curse right but maybe sukuna at one point did get defeated by somebody and let's say he's undefeated then somebody has to defeat sukuna because it'd be cool to see sukuna lose if he's undefeated and then sukuna just like his will to fight just breaks that happens in uh, anime sometimes for example in tokyo revenger season two with one of the characters there if you never watched tokyo revengers i definitely recommend the series because it's actually really good no matter uh what people say about the manga and stuff but yeah this chapter just had it all it just it just expanded on so many things which i am happy about and then we we got a little fight towards the end and then that confrontation as well so yeah Overall, if I were to rate the chapter, I will give the chapter easily. This is easily a 10 out of 10 chapter. What, what am I even thinking about it? Uh, this is a 10 out of 10 chapter. Hope you enjoy this one. And yeah, who do you... Wait, before I end this, who do you think is going to win in this fight? Sukuna versus Yoruzu. I got my money on Sukuna. That's it for this one and peace.